media outlet you're with. Over here to the right, Coach. Coach Gabe Bach, Tex Ag, Sports Radio 1150. Times of uncertainty and things like this at the start of camp. How important is a leader, a senior, like a guy in your backfield, Ben Molina? Well, we expect great leadership from Ben Molina no matter what's going on. You know, he's, he was a leader on, on last year's team. Uh, he's a leader amongst our group of backs, and he's one of the uh, biggest leaders we have on the team. Another question right over here to the left, Taylor. <clears throat> Taylor Ham, giggum247.com. Coach, how important is it to get some early returns from all those, you know, tremendous receivers that you guys signed in, in 2013 because of the, the depth you guys lost in Ryan Swope and, and other guys? Yes, yeah, it's, it's very important. You know, we, we return Mike Evans, but we bring in six new guys, and we're hoping, you know, we, we'd like in a perfect world for all six of those guys to be able to help us right away. But uh, we'd love for a few of them to step up, you know, early and show us that they can, can really play at this level. To the middle, Chip. Clarence Chip Howard with Sports Radio 1150. Um, not knowing what's going to happen with Johnny, is there any more urgency to get your backup quarterbacks ready than there would be normally? Well, the plan going into camp, no matter what happened on the last 24 hours, was to figure out who our backup quarterback was going to be. So those guys are going to have uh, reps. We expect great competition, and uh, hopefully one of those guys will step up and, and you know, take on that, that role of the backup. And would, would you discuss the, uh, the offensive line a little bit and solidifying all those positions? Do you, do you feel pretty solid going in? Do you have a good idea of who's going to be where? Based on the spring, you know, we have a pretty good idea of, of where guys are going to be. Uh, you guys may know we're moving Jake Matthews from right tackle to left tackle. Um, Jarvis Harrison is the, our left guard who, who started at left guard on last year. Uh, Mike Matthews will go into fall camp as I started at center. Uh, he uh, played quite a bit, you know, in a backup role last year with, um, for Pat. We feel good about that. Uh, the newcomer will be Jermaine Affetti who's a redshirt freshman, a uh, kid we're all excited about. He came in at about 340. He's down to 310 now, so uh, looks good, and he's, he's able to move around. And our right tackle is uh, Cedric. You know, he, he's a tackle, but, you know, due to the, the tackles we had on last year with Jake and Luke, uh, we had to get Ced on the field, and we played him inside, but he's a natural tackle. Down front here, Billy, and then we'll go to the middle. Clarence Pilly Lucci, uh, Any injuries to report coming into fall camp, or is the offense pretty healthy? Um, nothing major. You know, we, we, you know, with summer training, guys get bumps and bruises. Uh, just got a phone call earlier about a, a possible spider bite, you know, so uh, nothing that uh, we're concerned with. To the back, KO. Coach, Kevin O'Connor, WTAW. With the nature of the offense that you run, when is a drop dead that you absolutely have to have your quarterback in place to make the offense work like you want it to? Um, we'd like to have that guy in place now. You know, we think Johnny is our quarterback. He's been our quarterback. And until I'm told differently by Coach Sumlin, we're going to proceed as if Johnny is our quarterback. To the back. Coach, you've been with Coach Sumlin for quite some time. What is it about him that handles situations, um, you know, whether it's a hurricane, the loss of a player, or quarterback issues? What is it about Coach Sumlin that he does that gets his team behind him? Well, Coach Sumlin never panics. You know, he, he never um, makes a, a decision, a, a big decision quickly. He always thinks out the, the situation. Uh, we've, like you said, we've had some issues in the past with hurricanes and, 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 you know, we have a player who passed away recently. Um, he's our leader and we just follow his lead. He, he makes the right decision, what he feels like what's best for the team. Over here to the right, Coach Brent. Brent, it's Warnham in San Antonio Express mm -hmm. News. This is such an exciting time for you with, you know, entering your first full year as, mm -hmm. as the offensive coordinator. How do you keep the news of the last 24 hours from being a distraction for you going into the camp as the OC? Uh, to be honest with you, I'm not a big Twitter guy. <laughs> uh, I, I don't watch, I, I try not to watch a lot of ESPN when they're talking college football. Um, that's, 
you know, I'm I'm more of a ESPN basketball kind of guy, so I I don't get the news of what's happening in the football world until I get here. <laughs> I probably won't see it. <laughs> Over here to the left, Coach Mark. Coach Mark Passwaters with Rivals. Um, question about uh, your running backs. You got at least four really good ones. How do you go about juggling any playing time for them? You know, Mark, um, it beats the alternative and not having any guys, you know. <laughs> Um, what those guys are expected to do is come in and compete with each other, uh, make each other better. Uh, they know my philosophy, uh, the best guy's going to play. And if they're all equal, then we're going to try and get them all equal playing time. But uh, they all have different talents. They bring different abilities to our, to our scheme. And uh, we're looking forward to this fall camp with the competition. Right here in the middle. Hi, Coach Vinny from uh, CBS San Antonio. What is it that you see in Johnny that tells you that his focus is going to be just fine and where it needs to be, even with this latest cloud now looming? Well, when Johnny's with us and we're on the football field, we're in the film room, um, whatever we're doing football-wise, he's focused. He takes care of his business. He wants to win. That's uh, one of his biggest attributes is that he hates to lose more than he loves to win. Uh, so... Um, he hadn't shown us anything differently. To the middle, Cease. Robert Sesson, Bryan College Station Eagle. Coach, when your backup quarterbacks broke for the summer, where did you tell each of them they needed to improve? I, I kind of let Coach Spavital uh, handle that. You know, he, he's the quarterback's coach. Um, he's the guy who's, who meets with those guys all the time. So we let him, you know, give each guy their report on what they need to improve on. Over here to the left, Taylor. Coach, have you seen or you or your staff seen any effects on recruiting with all the, the news with Johnny? I mean, a lot of the guys that you're recruiting right now, you, you've, you're selling coming to play with them. You know, one, one thing about all of the uh, attention we've gotten lately is uh, good for recruiting because our brand is everywhere. And uh, guys see that. They want to be on TV. We're all over the place. So every, everywhere you look, there's Texas A&M football. Right here to the right, David. Time for a couple more, and we've got some players ready. Hey, Coach, you talked about the uh, offensive line uh, a while back, some of the starters, but you know, especially at the tackle position, you've had Jokel, Matthews, and Cedric and those guys. You don't hear much about the next line of guys, the depth. How would you assess the depth of tackle right now, and what do you need to answer in the fall? Well, we, we brought in um, – a guy from JUCO, uh, Jeremiah Stuckey. Uh, we had some, some guys here in Joe Cheek and a um, couple of freshmen that um, we have. All of those guys are expected to compete. You know, you're one injury away from throwing one of those guys in there. So they're expected to, to compete. The next best lineman is going in the game, no matter what position he is. So we'll make some adjustments if, if um, we need to, and uh, we'll go from there. Time for one more for Coach before we get the players. Unless y'all are good. All right, Coach McKinney, thank you. Tell you what, we got Tony Herb back there. Tony, you started.